Hello. Good night, everyone. How are you? Hello. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Anna. Can you hear me? Hello. Ding dong. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> good night. I, I, I having a call. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So just let me, let me put the contents here. And what about the weather? Is raining on your area? Yes. It's raining hard or is just uh, kind of slow? No, it, it's raining, it's hard. Oh. Mm. Yeah. It, I, I live in a part of the, the volcano of San Salvador. Oh, San Salvador volcano? Yeah. Oh, I see. Wow. That is very far from mine. We are from one corner to another because I live in the south. Ah. Mm -hmm. But here is uh, pretty slow, but it's hot. It is like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very hot. Yes. Okay. Okay. Did you review the verbs that I sent to you? <laughs> okay. I sent a list, a video with a list of one hundred uh, verbs in in. Irregular verbs and irregular verbs. Nice. Yes, and they have pronunciation and translation, so you can memorize them easily. Yeah, this is my, my I, I have a problem, these are the verbs. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So let but me... I know identify the irregular and, and regular verbs. It's more, more difficult. Oh, it's easy. The regular are just adding ed at the end, and the and the and the irregular are totally different when you are uh, making the past and the and the past participle. That is that is how you identify them. Good night, Alejandra. Good night, Mario. Good night, Anna. How are you? Good night, everybody. Bye. I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, Alejandra. Nice to see you. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's share the screen right now. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. We are having the uh, this lesson. This is uh, we will be practicing. Oh, let me see. I think this is yeah. already done. Jared, yeah, oh, yeah. It's already done. We already done it. Uh, now let's check. Uh -huh. We did it. Let's say we have to get more than two syllables. The stress, yeah, we did it too. And uh, it's in cell phones, imperative, yeah, it's Ruth and yeah. Can I borrow yourself? And yeah, I think this is the the last thing we saw the last class. Mm -hmm. Let me see. This is what we are doing right now. Giving suggestions. Mm hmm. Hello everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. 
Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, let's study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning, we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Okay, this was about uh, suggestions in a positive form and the negative form. The positive form, it is very but easy. This sounds, it sounds like we will leave you, you are, now with some common expressions. Like if you are giving like instructions, be sure, asegúrate. Make sure, asegúrate también, ¿verdad? O estás o estar seguro. Don't forget, no olvides. Remember, re recuerda, try. Trata, trata, y de ahí eh, podemos ver, por ejemplo, eh, expresiones comunes como Be sure to practice with your friends. Asegúrate practicar con tus amigos. Recuerden que el infinitivo se forma con la preposición to antes del verbo, que en este caso es practice, y se traduce solo como practicar una sola palabra. Make sure to use a dictionary. Asegúrate usar un diccionario. Don't forget to think in English. No olvides pensar en inglés. Remember to do your English homework. Recuerda hacer tu tarea de inglés. Try to pronounce properly. Trata pronunciar Pro, eh, debidamente, ¿verdad? Properly es como adecuadamente. Lo mismo podemos hacer, pero le, por hacer las instrucciones negativas, solo agregamos antes del verbo, ¿verdad? Antes de, de la, eh, el verbo completo con la partícula to. Be sure not to speak in your native languages. 
can you please complete the other negatives and pronounce them? Let's go and see. We have, let me see how many people is here. Oh, welcome, Elena. On who else? Welcome. Oh, I say he's here also. Okay, Rocio. Okay, and Anna. Let me see. Let me see, okay. Uh, who wants to participate with the second uh, sentence? Me? Okay, go ahead. Make sure not to forget your dictionary. Perfect, I like it, okay. The other sentence, who wants to participate? Anna. Okay, Anna, go ahead. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Perfect, that is, but I do have to add the word not. Um, perhaps we have don't in the beginning, uh, we have to add note because we are saying no olvides, uh, no olvides, let me see. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Uh -huh. No olvides permanecer quieto en clase. Okay, that's okay. Okay, another one, the, the last, the, the, the next one, who wants to, to say the next one? Me, Elena. Okay, Elena. Remember. Mm, remember. Not to translate into your native language. Perfect. Remember not to translate into your native language. Okay. Recuerda no eh, traducir en tu lenguaje nativo. Okay. And the last one. Me, teacher. Okay, let me see. Try, try not to mispronounce the word. Perfect. Try not to mispronounce the words. Trata no pronunciar mal. Mispronounce is pronunciar mal, ¿verdad? The words. Okay, and let's see. Translate. We will continue with the lesson. I think this is uh, pretty easy for you. It's not uh, too confusing. Oh, this is a knowledge check. Have you already done it? Or do you want to complete it? I'm finished. Oh, okay. finish too okay 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 let's let's go with the next one in this class you will read an article about technology in the future develop skills in identifying paragraph topics and reading for, for specific information En esta clase se leerá un artículo sobre tecnología en el futuro. También desarrollarán habilidades en identificar temas en cada párrafo y a encontrar información específica. Reading exercise, a day in your life. Let me see. If we can see it better from drive. Are you able to see it or is it too short, too small the letters? It's too small the letters. Okay, now is it better? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I will read it for you and then we will read it uh, together. A day in your life in the year 2020. Scan the article. Then add the correct heading to each paragraph. Communicating, shopping, relaxing, 
eating, getting around, working. People used to know more or less how their children would live. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like in a few years. What follows is how experts see the future. Okay, paragraph number one. You're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot and with its high tech computers, your car knows how to get you home safely. Paragraph two. You head for the kitchen when you get home. You ordered groceries by computer an hour ago and they've been delivered. You paid for them before they arrived. The money was automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. Paragraph three, what's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or a pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which foods your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. Paragraph four, after lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. Your information screen says, I'm sorry, paragraph five. Your information screen says that you've received a message from a coworker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your coworker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. Paragraph six. You finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about the classic tonight? Maybe Back to the Future? That are, those are the paragraphs that we have to decide which one of the uh, topics suggested in the list at the top of the, of the article are going with and match with the explanations. So I need a vol six volunteers to read the paragraph and then tell us what will be the uh, topic that they are talking about. Who wants to participate? I will help. Don't be shy. Um, <clears throat> me Mario? for the first. Okay. Uh, first Go ahead. Paragraph. Thank you. Um, uh, first paragraph. Your daydream behind the wheel of your car, but that, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot. Um, with these high-tech computers, your car knows how to get you home safely. Mm -hmm. What would be the heading of the paragraph? Uh, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe getting around. Yes, that is the one. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I I congress if your uh, pronunciation is is good. Okay. Thank you. I try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's but it's it's okay. Okay. Well, who wants to make the second paragraph or any? It, it, you don't have to go in order. Um, me, Elena. Okay. Do you have per the kitchen when you get home. You mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. You have. You have for the kitchen when you get home. Mm -hmm. You order grocery by computer an hour ago. Mm -hmm. And they've been delivered. 
you paid for them before they arrived. The money was autom automatically. I don't know how mm -hmm. to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. That is okay, deducted, automatically. Mm -hmm. Automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. Mm -hmm. I what would be the heading? Talk about shopping. Exactly, they are talking about shopping. Okay, we are practicing uh, to uh, to discover the what are they talking about for inference. We don't know exactly the translation. We're not making the translation, but we are having a really good idea through scanning in the article. Okay, thank you, Elena. Who wants to be the third? Me, Jenny. Okay, Jenny. What for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop of the get a hamburger or pizza. Now you use your dyn diagnostic, diagnostic. diagnostic machine mm -hmm. to find out which food your body needs. Your food preparation machine make your a salad. Oh, okay. So what would be the, the topic they have for the topic? Maybe eating? Yes, correct. That is eating. Okay. So, um, let me see. Hmm. The number four. We already used shopping, getting around, and, and eating. So we are missing communicating, relaxing, and working. Who wants to be the fourth? Communicating. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. No. Communicating is number five. Working teacher. Relaxing. Mm, relaxing is number six. Yes. So the what is the last one that is missing after lunch? Get it around. No, we already did that. Communicating, relaxing. Working. Working, exactly. That is the one that is missing. Okay, let's see. I think they are. they were not easy for you to guess. So let's translate. After lunch, eh, después del de almuerzo, tú vas eh, por el pasillo a tu eh, oficina. Aquí tú tienes todo lo que necesitas para hacer tu trabajo. Tú nunca tienes que eh, como commute, es como, como esforzarte para trabajar más. O sea, como quien dice... Eh, Hay alguien que está trabajando por esa persona. That is working. The number five is about communicating. Tu información, tu pantalla de información dice que tú has recibido un mensaje de un eh, compañero de trabajo en Brasil. Tú eh, preparas tu computadora para traducir de portugués a inglés. Tu compañero de trabajo, la cara de tu compañero de trabajo aparece en la pantalla y la traducción aparece en la parte de abajo. That is very, that is not 2020, that is, that is exactly 2022 right now. <laughs> it is, it is, it is Skype or is Google Meet or is Zoom like we are doing right now. <laughs> okay, for that reason is communicating. So the last one. It is uh, relaxing. Tú terminas de trabajar y vas de regreso a tu sala. Tú enciendes el televisor y miras 
y eh, buscas en la lista de las nuevas películas. Es como tener una tienda de video en tu casa. ¿Qué tal una, un clásico para esta noche? Tal vez te regreso al futuro. Do you know that movie? It, it is an old movie, but it's uh, from uh, Michael J. Fox, who is a very yeah. famous actor. So uh, I think this is Netflix. <laughs> They are talking about Netflix because it's like a movie on inside your home. It's a Or classic Amazon. movie that I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it too. I don't know why, why it's so famous because I don't like it too. Okay, kids, so everything is clear. Do you want to translate the other three or it's okay for you? It's okay for me. Okay, anyone else? Me too, Tisha. Okay, so let's continue with... A... Oh, we have questions here. Let me see. You need to pay attention while driving. True or false? False because I have an automatic pilot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you pay your, for your groceries when they arrive? False. Mm -hmm. Because false. you always prepaid, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, people don't use cash anymore. It's true. It's true, that is crypto, <laughs> that is Bitcoin. <laughs> Chivo wallet. <laughs> okay, you usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch? According to the article, is that true or false? It's false. Why is false? Uh, because if prepare the other food. Who's preparing the food? Um, a robot. I do, yeah, a, I do, a <laughs> salad, a salad. Yeah, because the robot is suggesting yes, you yes. the best uh, to eat according to yeah. your health yeah. and is measuring your health. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so number five, you need to go to the office every day? Oh. False, yes, your office is home office right now. Okay, six, you and your coworkers have to speak the same language? False too. False, yes, because you have a live translation. Okay, number seven, when you get a message, you can see the sender space. True. True. Okay. Yeah, that is true. And you have to go to a video store to rent movies like Blockbuster in the past. <laughs> totally false. Totally <laughs> false. <laughs> yeah. You just yeah. click and then play it. <laughs> okay. That is, that is okay. Let me see. I'm, I'm curious about the number one. Yeah, it was false. You were right, Mario. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next one. Hmm. Is charging or not? Okay. Oh, we have reached number three. Remember, according to the agenda, we are beginning to this, this uh, week, uh, the number three lessons, okay? So in this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebration. En esta clase aprenderán vocabulario para hablar de celebraciones. Okay, vocabulary. Let's put attention to the video. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary. Cake. Cards. Dancing. Fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. 
Okay, let's uh, hear it again and we will be repeating ours. Okay, anniversary. Can you please repeat? Anniversary. anniversary. Okay, anniversary. Cake. 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 <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cards. 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 Dancing. 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 Fireworks. Fireworks. Flowers. Flowers. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Okay. The parade. 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 What is the meaning? What is the meaning of parade? This feeling. Do you know the famous oh. one on, on January 1st, the Rose oh. Parade in yeah. Los Angeles, okay. California? Oh. Okay. In Pasadena, California. <laughs> yeah. Party. Okay. Party. 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 Presents. 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 Rose Turkey. Rose Turkey. Wedding. 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 Rose turkey is pollo, eh, perdón, es pavo, pavo, pavo ro, rostizado. Que queda así como, como el pavo que hacemos nosotros en, en Navidad, ¿verdad? Para ellos es como el Thanksgiving. Ellos comen pavo en, en acción de gracias, no comen pavo en, en Navidad. No es lo que usualmente comen, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos palabras relacionadas a celebraciones, aniversario, pastel, eh, tarjetas, bailar, juegos artificiales, flores, eh, ponche de frutas, desfile, fiesta, regalos, pollo, rost eh, pollo. <ríe> eh, um, pavo rostizado, boda. That is vocabulary for celebrations. So let's see if they are having activity here. By the end of this class, you will understand the use of relative clauses of time. Al final de esta clase entenderán sobre el uso de las cláusulas relativas de tiempo. Okay, relative clauses of time, part one. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is. So pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Okay, relative clause is related uh, uh, with time and then we use the word when, that means cuando. Relative clauses of time for two. Relative clauses of time. Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. What is a relative clause of time? A relative clause of time refers to a time, date or moment previously mentioned. They are usually introduced by the verb be. Right after the verb be, a noun phrase may follow. Example, the day, the month, the year, the season. And because we're referring to time, we will use when. 
Take a look at the structure and work with us on the following examples. Date plus verb B plus a noun phrase plus a relative clause of time when plus complement. If we study the first example, Valentine's Day is a day when people give presents to their loved ones. Valentine's Day is the date. Is is the verb be. A day, noun phrase. When, relative clause of time. People give presents to their loved ones would be the complement. Go on reading the other examples and try to understand them before you're asked to do the exercises. We want you to finish the following sentence using a relative pronoun when in our discussion box. Ready? Mother's Day is a day. A wedding anniversary is a time. December is a month. Presence to their loved ones would be the complex. Okay, so we, will be we want you to finish the following sentence using a relative pronoun when in our discussion box. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mother's Day is a day. Mother's Day is a day. Can you use a relative clause to complete this sentence? Remember, we use when. Mother Day is a day. Mother Day is a day when we celebrate uh, uh, to our mothers. Exactly, perfect. That is a very nice example. Another one, Mother's Day is a day. When people, when, when, when families get together and eat pollo campero, <laughs> right? Mother days, Mother's Day, following the structure is a date. We, everybody know that May 10th is Mother's Day in El Salvador. In the US, Mother's Day is the second Sunday of May, no matter, which day it is. Okay, but in El Salvador, Mother's Day is a day when uh, flower shops are selling a lot, right? A lot of people is sending uh, bouquets to their moms because they like a lot roses. Okay, let's see this, the other one. A wedding anniversary. A wedding anniversary is a time when a wedding anniversary is a time. Is <laughs> a time when uh, husbands send flowers to. Uh, his, his wife. <laughs> exactly. I, I, when, when I listen to you smiling, I, I thought you will say a wedding anniversary is a time when husbands spend a lot money, <laughs> a lot of money. Yeah, it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, I think it's not too common here. To celebrate a wedding anniversary is like, um, mm, well, I know my parents' wedding, an wedding anniversary is December 2nd, but it is more than 45 years ago <laughs> that happened that. So they maybe are golden, golden anniversary <laughs> or silver anniversary. Okay, let's see. A wedding anniversary is a time. December. December is a month for you. What is December for you? December is a month. When? Uh, 
went to celebrate Christmas. Yes, went to celebrate Christmas. Yeah, that is true. Another answer? When? When? We celebrate my birthday. Oh, really? Do you are you from December? Which date exactly? In December twenty-five. Twenty-fifth. Because 25? Uh-huh. Twenty-fifth because it's ordinal. Okay, twenty-fifth. Okay, so you were like Jesus, <laughs> a kind of <laughs> Okay. Okay, December is a month everyone is expecting. It's the most beautiful time of the year, as the jingle says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the jingle is the most beautiful time of the year, is the is the is the song. December is a month that we put a Christmas tree with gifts in our living room. Well. That is a custom for Catholic people. The other are uh, putting a mystery. You know what is mystery? El nacimiento. And December is a month when Santa Claus is coming to bring presents for the kids. They are expecting the whole year for this time. December is a month when we spend a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a month when you spend a lot of money, yeah. And January is terrible. <laughs> okay, let's move to the other one. I think it's clear. Oh, this, someone has put a, um, a Mother's Day is a day when I buy a gift to my mom, yes. A wedding anniversary is a time when people celebrate their marriage. Yes. December, ugh, with I, oh my God, this is a mistake. December is a month when I buy new clothes. Mm, that, yeah, because they, they, there are a lot of uh, uh, offers at the stores. So uh, previously we have Black Friday. That is a complete nightmare in the US. It's crazy. Teacher, una consulta. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice aguinaldo en inglés? Christmas bonus. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Porque el aguinaldo solo es en Navidad, ¿verdad? Solo es en, en diciembre, pero lo llaman como, ¿verdad? Como Christmas bonus. Es el bono de Navidad. Así, así lo llamo. No sé si es acorde a las, a las leyes parecidas a nosotros, pero sí es el Christmas bonus. Any other question? No? Okay, I think it's, no. we are having a, uh, what a uh, knowledge check. New Year's Day is a day when. April Fool's Day is a day when. May and June are the months when. Valentine's Day is a day when. Labor Day is a day when. February is the month when. So do you know what is uh, Labor Day? No. Labor Day. Día de trabajo. Día de trabajo. Exactly. Labor okay. Day. It's not exactly May 1st as we have it, but they have a Labor Day in the United States and it's a, and it's a vacation for them. It's a holiday, a national holiday. April Fools. Do you know what is April Fools? I'm not pretty sure. Not, not exactly, but it's, it's a it's a weird celebration for uh -huh. for the people in USA. But 
um, I, I don't know. It's 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 very weird. Um, very weird. <laughs> the celebration. What? Yeah. Let me see. Um, uh, es el día de los inocentes. <laughs> it's on April, but ours is on December. Okay. Remember, it's December twenty eighth, right? Right. Yeah. Well, it it has to be maybe for that day because remember this is what okay. it all is. Oh, I'm listening to yeah. Anna. Okay. I will meet you. Okay. Okay. So April Fool Day, remember this is the day when uh, the Erodis King uh, make a commandment to kill all babies between one uh, until uh, three years. So that's why is the day of the innocent. By this day, remember it's Easter. Easter time. Easter is Pascua or Semana Santa. Easter week is Semana Santa. Entonces es cuando en abril más o menos un año cae marzo y el otro cae abril. Entonces cuando el cuando el niño Jesús eh, estaba, verdad, o algo así, andaron a matar a todos los niños que tenían eh, más o menos de nacidos. Y si en, nació en diciembre, ¿verdad? Supuestamente ya tenía sus tres, cuatro meses. <laughs> Entonces así estaba. Okay, so you wanted to do it individually or do you wanted to do it in group? Hello. Individual. Bye. Okay. I think it's easy. So let's go to the next one. In this class, you will listen to an audio about a carnival. This will help you develop skills in listening for specific information. En esta clase escucharán un audio sobre un carnaval. Esto les ayudará a desarrollar la habilidad para escuchar la información específica. Oh, this is a listening. Let's move to Google Chrome because I cannot have this one. Oh, I will share the new one. Okay. Oh God, we will repeat the other ones. Okay. Relative clauses, relative clauses, relative clauses, checks. Next, next. Okay, we are here for listening. We uh, will have to see the questions. We have four questions. Oh, my screen sharing is paused. What? They are not sharing my screen. Hmm, why not? Are you seeing the, okay, now. Uh, the questions are, what is a carnival? How long does it last? When is it? What is the Zamba? Let's listen to this audio. Why is not? Page 52, exercise five, listening, carnival time. Part A, Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. 
The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, what is a carnival according to the audio? It's a party. It's a party? And last for a day. Are you sure it's a party? It's a big party. Famous party. party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long does it last? Four days. Four days, exactly. And when is it? It's in February or March. Hmm. You have to be specific. They answer this specifically. Early or early March. Early March, correct. And the other? Late February. So it's at the end of February or beginning March. That is where the celebration took place. Okay, and what is the samba? A native dancing? Mm -hmm. It's a native Brazilian dancing. Mm -hmm. But they describe samba as? Um, something really something really they said about samba. Yep, I don't remember. <laughs> don't remember, okay. Let's see. Hmm. I will go the, the, to the beginning and see if it's playing again. Hmm. I don't think it won't play again. Let me try to try to refresh the web page. Yeah, I'm doing that. Thank you. Ah, I know. Otra vez voy a tener que pasar todas las todas las las pantallas.
Oh, here it is. Okay, let's go. Page 52, exercise five, listening, carnival time. Part A, Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. The answer, so, is, what is a Zamba? It's a dance. Because they, they said everyone is dancing Samba. So, Samba is a dance. It's a simple question. So, it was very, they were giving a lot of information, but Samba was a very simple one to, to answer. So, do you understand the... Did you understand the complete audio or is there something specific that you want to know what he's talking about? I understand the most of the audio, so it's okay. <laughs> ¿Entendieron casi todo lo del audio o todo? Mm -hmm. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sí, está bastante fácil de entender. Eh, bueno, nosotros conocemos bastante de eso, ¿verdad? Del carnaval de Brasil. Y no es difícil eh, imaginarnos de qué están hablando. Están diciendo eh, que todo Brasil, ¿verdad? Que lo decoran con luces que los disfraces son espectaculares, que los pasan haciendo por meses, este, que a pesar que se, en febrero o marzo hay que, hay que reservar un hotel con bastante anticipación porque se llenan un montón, que recomienda el carnaval porque es algo realmente fabuloso, ¿verdad? El que Río es donde más se celebra esto. ¿Did you catch all of that details? Or it's something that you want to add that is uh, that is not mentioned. No. Solo eso dijeron o dijeron más. Hello. No one wants to add any anything else. Uh, I think so. The audio mentions that the people is very kind. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. People is very friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, friendly, yes. They are very friendly, especially with? Um, visitors, um, tourists, I think Is so. it tourists from? They said it's specifically uh, visitors from? Uh, <laughs> From other countries. <laughs> from, other, from other countries. Yeah, they said from visitors from other countries. Okay, so do you remember any other detail? No. 
Oh, the big parade. Oh, the big parade. Parade. Thank you. Parade. Mm -hmm. yeah. Parade. It parade the feeling. The feeling. Eh, así es. Eh. Parade es como carro, el desfile de las rosas. Es como un carrozas al exterior. Okay, kids, it's nine o'clock. We are uh, finishing the class. And yeah, we have advanced a lot. And I am really happy. You are understanding a lot and you are improving. Uh, and pronunciation is getting better every time. Every time you're pronouncing better. I congrats you. So let's see you tomorrow. Please be on time at eight o'clock to nine, okay? See you. Okay, see you. Okay, bye. 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 Bye, see you, good night. Bye.